Hello again. Today, you see it already, it's time for new configuration. It's a folder again, still not the 911. You're gonna do something else today. A car I really like. It's not the Panamera, you see it here. They've been releasing it very unexpectedly for me. But let's start with the more expected one, the new Taycan. The Taycan was Porsche's first all-electric car. It has three different stylings. You see them, the basic limousine one, the cross turismo, which is the higher sport turismo, which I think looks really great with the sport styling package or the off-road package. It gives it some nice fenders on the sides. It makes it wider and it makes it look more sportier, even though it's the all-terrain off-road version of the car. But I would choose for me the basic limousine one because it looks sleeker, it's cleaner, and I don't need that much boot space. So yeah, let's figure the basic one. You can change the models, so you can see all those basic Tycons you have. The basic one is rear-wheel drive, which is still unexpected for me. I'm always wondering why they do it and not all-wheel drive. Then there's the 4S, no 4 basic one. And you already see those acceleration times and up to 462 horsepower. That's really fast for a relatively cheap limousine. It starts at around 100 euros the Taycan Turbo honestly I would have chosen the GTS but it's not odd already because it's the best mix on many cars so I would often choose the GTS because it's the best daily and best all-time driving car but the Turbo already has an acceleration under three seconds and that's something really cool the Turbo S it's crazy that they almost have 1000 horsepower it's fast 2.4 seconds but it also depreciates so bad in value it doesn't keep it at all honestly I would choose the Turbo right now there's no GTS right now it's just a 4S which with 462 basic horsepower or 544 is a bit low so let's choose the one with 704 or 800 84. I don't need to tell you anything about the configuration basics anymore. You all know them. Let's start with the paint. I always want the paint to sample. And with the new Taycan, I really like grays. Especially this stone gray is my favorite. It's looking modern, kind of futuristic, because it, I think it really fits those lines perfectly. I'm going to show it to you in a 360 version later on, so you understand what I mean with that. The wheels. I wouldn't really choose any different views because honestly, I just like those ones, the Mission E ones from the first Taycan. I would just keep the basic ones, black, the interior, surprise by. The letter free option always comes with the racing inspired styling, but I think they didn't really exceed all my expectations. So yeah, it's even though I like it in the Kayan Turbo GT, I don't really like it in the Taycan. And they also have it in grey. The two-tone ones are basically as you would expect them, but with headrests in a different color. White ones with headrests in black and white ones with the side panels in black. Doesn't really change that much. But they made it. So in the end I would just stay with a black one, but choose the club letter for the new dime accent package. As always, choose the sport seats, they look way much better. Also something I will always choose is the 4 plus 1 seat, if available, so it's more practical. And also good for reselling the car, because you never know who's gonna think I need the fifth seat. Seat ventilation, nice to have. Yeah, sport event tech package, it's nice, it doesn't really change that much on this car. I don't think you need it in carbon fiber, it's already a heavy car. It makes a nice look, but it's... For me, the Taycan is a sporty, everyday limousine. You drive it daily, you don't need it to be too much of a race car, but also not too little, so sporty and package. Yes, not in carbon fiber. Rear axis steering, already told you that. At the Cayenne, and on probably every other video that is following, I'm gonna say, 
choose it, it makes parking so much easier. Porsche Active Ride is always nice to have more options for your ride dynamics. The Coramic brakes also gonna use them. They're holding even longer than with an electric car because it reincorporates lights, always a tinted version. What I think is really cool is a new light strip. It's illuminated, so you see the Porsche logo in red. The panoramic roof, I would just choose the basic one, not the one with the light sunshine control. I always choose the noise cancelling glass because it's really, really quiet in an electric car and you don't want to hear the outside. Enjoy your ride, choose the sound insulated glass and also the privacy glass. So basically the assistance systems are the same as in PN and every other Porsche. I will always choose the night vision, the adaptive cruise control, not the inno package, surround view if it's not already pre-programmed and the lane changing assistant is really helpful. I would choose the head-up display because it makes this nice curve over here and it gives you an, a little bit of sunshine traction so you're not scared. Those flares, when you see it here it's open the display and because of all the fires and technic stuff for the head-up display it makes this little top over it for an electric car i think the passenger display is really fitting because more future stuff and if it's a car group also choose the better sound system preparation for rear seat entertainment because i don't need it maybe the next i like it i would choose the porsche electric sports sound because when i first drove the Taycan, the old one not the new one i didn't try this one yet it really sounded good. I really liked it and wasn't expecting it, so I would choose it. And all this too. So now to show you what I meant with this car looking so good in this color. Let's go to the surround view. I think it's cool that they do it on the newer models now. You can really look around it. They just done it in on a 911 previously. Now you can look around this car. You see it in the sunshine. I think it looks so so good in the silver. It makes those lines even more clearer. Down here, this gigantic shoulder, this top over here. And here you see, also see the red illuminated Porsche logo. Yeah, it's the new Taycan. I would configure it this way. Also look at it at night. And you can open all things that you could possibly open on the car. You see your front luggage space. You can look at the boot if it opens. Yeah, there. And it's got a lot of storage room. You don't expect it from such a limousine type of car. You can look at it in, in every angle and I like it. So as always if you want to look at it your own way you can take this code configure it order it or just be inspired for your configuration. See you next time.